Let's take a look at your Huntington highlights of the game brought to you by Huntington Bank. And uh, Bruce, as we look back uh, early on, we saw some great goaltending too tonight by Carter Hutton. We don't want to get that lost in the shuffle. Yeah, you know, Carter Hutton only faced 30 shots tonight, but a lot of them are of good quality variety, and he made the big saves. That's the one he was very upset about. About the Cincinnati players, you can see his skates were in the blue ice. It was called good. Carter Hutton was very upset, but he did a good thing. He didn't let it get in his head. He continued to play good, strong goaltend, goaltender. And there you see Toledo, a beautiful pass from David Taves over Joey Martin. And that's what really got Toledo going. And, and look at that hustle right there. Taves just continued, bam, going. And what do you do? You go right to the front of the net, and that's what happened. Yep. And then Toledo right back at him, Clay with a picture-perfect shot. Yeah, he's really had his best games against Cincinnati for whatever reason. Evan Rankin was the Kalamazoo wing killer, and it seems like Estaclay's turning into the, Kalamazoo, or the Cincinnati killer. And there's the game-winning goal. Kyle Rogers, what can you say? Kyle Rogers came out in the third period. He really set the tempo for the entire third period by the body checks he, he put on Cincinnati. Now the party with the players begins upstairs here at the Huntington Center, and it'll be a happy one tonight as the Walleye defeat Cincinnati by a final count of 3-2. to two. So the Walleye will be back on the home ice Wednesday, November 30th, as they will host the Chicago Express at 7 o'clock. You can get tickets now at ToledoWalleye.com. Well, for my broadcast partner, Bruce Johnson, and our entire crew, my name is Matt Melzack. Again, your final score, the Toledo Walleye 3 and the Cincinnati Cyclones 2.